let's get straight into today's video. I am currently sat here waiting for a delivery. Still nothing. However, there is a Nissan GTR at my door outside, which is pretty cool. So I'm waiting for a parcel today. We're gonna do some car mods and they're gonna be really DIY infused. Do me a massive favor, smash the thumbs up button because the engagement helps grow my videos. Your first vlog. No, it's not. It is, what are you gonna say? Come on, you're on the tube, bringing tea, crumpets. What are you gonna say? That crumpets are better burned. They are, you're right, you're not wrong there. It is carnage in the garage and I mean, Carnage. What I'm gonna do, dead quick though, I'm gonna put these on here, like this. Look at my new tea, oversized. If you're ordering one of our new mustard gangster teas, make sure you add your free cap to your basket with every tea or hoodie. It's that simple. Google owner, or check us out in the description of this video. Okay, we've got some nice, good working space now. Check it. Pretty cool. The beast slammed out in the garage. Oh Jesus. We're looking very smooth. We are, aren't we? They have like a smoothing thing on it. So yeah, so I've got a new camera, which is kind of cool. I'll smash this wall out, by the way, ignore this wall. Things are getting crazy right now. Got a full smashed out house all the way around. It's like open plan-ish. You want to see some of the jungle that I've just gone past to get in here. Let me show you. Serious weeds in this drive. Actually, I haven't been living here for like four months. Been somewhere else. So... The driveway's paid the price. If you're an estate car guy, you'll know that your boot is one of your proudest points of your estate car. So, today's gonna be a little bit different. If you remember in a previous episode, I installed the pancake tank. That brings us to now, where we've got one shagged out board in the back with this sort of, sort of like suede, but it's not real, I don't think. Feels kind of flat. It's got rips and tears all over it. We are out in the Nissan GTR, living the dream. Owner air fresheners, you can get yours right now on Owner. We actually do these in a two pack. Boosh. Okay, we got stick to contact adhesive, instant spray contact adhesive. Easy to apply. Yo, yo, yo. We got a box. And within a box is a bag. And within a bag is black carpet. So, check it. We've got some carpet and a lot of it. The small one. Let's see how easy it is to get this off. Randomly, it's not been contact adhesive on the top. It's only been stapled in at the back, which now makes sense why it's ripped. Whoa. This is where I'm at. I've got a hammer. I've got all the black material off the back, but we are left with some staples like so. But this is the underside where we're going to spray adhesive the ends and we're going to spray adhesive the top side. I don't think it's that deep. I don't think I'm ever going to look at the underneath ever again. So I'm currently just hitting all the staples as flat as possible to carpet straight over them.
that looks pretty big. A piece of boot floor that I'm using, like that, and put it down on the carpet. And then what I'm going to do, I cut round this, probs like here, along and round, so we've got a nice square like that to work with. Not expensive scissors, just a stock pair of scissors. And we are scissor cutting around this piece of floor. Just like so. Now we're going to start by lifting up the piece of wood, doing the back sides of the wood and the carpet. The problem with this stuff is it gets everywhere. I'm going to start with the wood. Oh, she's strong. Now we're going to do the floor. The concept of this stuff is you give it a couple of minutes to get sticky and tacky and then these two surfaces tack to each other. It's going to be interesting to see if it works. My god it is strong though. I want to vacate the premises. It's that strong. Okay, let's try it. Damn! And now what we're going to do we're going to flip it round, we're going to see how she looks, is she flat, is she flat, oh she looks good, and then all I'm going to do is just flatten it out as much as possible, this looks sick, just to check I'm happy with the surface, which I am, it looks great. The surface is done. This looks good. This is going to be sick. It's going to be way neater than what was in the boot. Let's give you a POV right now. This is what we're looking like. And now all you do is you use that same thing around the outsides and fold it all up. But before I do that, full sugar vanil. Full sugar vanil. None of this diet. Full sugar vanil. Okay, we're going to do this bit by bit. So I'm going to start with this corner. So we've done that corner and that corner. And it is strong. I'm going to give it a sec to go tacky. I'm going to show you though how we do this. Goes tacky quick, this thing. Damn. Corners are quite hard. If I remember rightly, you've got to get the bulk out the way to make the corners nice. There 
I think you leave them stood up and then you chop them, if I remember. But hey, it's been an absolute minute. What do I probably know? This carpet's called five-way stretch carpet or four-way stretch carpet, if you're after any. I got it off Amazon, believe it or not. And then, the only thing left to do is cut the excess off the corners so it sits nice and flat. Like so. Oh my days, look at that little gem. That's sick, that. Isn't it? Look at that little gem. Clean that. My days. Let's balance her up on here. Look at that bad boy. That's fresh. However, what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to install it until we put the other piece in first. Beautiful. So we've got one fully complete bad boy there. And if I must say so myself, my corners are looking pretty sick. That's the front one that goes across this flat section and that's the rear one which goes with the curved bit at the back of the boot. It is a new day. Day three. <laughs> day three, another fresh full shug. I'm on about a can a day at the moment so I'm doing quite well. I've got the hoover out. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Seriously. Seriously. So the panels are done that you've seen at the end of yesterday's episode, at yesterday's clips in this video. We are about to hoover the hell out of the boot and do the install. Stay tuned, this is going to be absolutely sick. That looks fresh, that. Actually marries up quite well to the carpet on the back of the seats. So I can properly put it in. Oh man, that looks fresh that. That looks fresh that. That looks fresh. Check this out, it looks sick, look at my face. I'm hyped on that for a little DIY episode. Looks sick. So, there you have it. That was a bit of a DIY episode. The back of the Passat is now not scabby. Show you a bit more, so I'm gonna go in, but check it. So, as you can see, all the way round, needs a bit of a hoover, but looks good. That's been fully recarpeted. I need to freshen these two panels up on the sides, and I need to wet vac these side panels, but they're not actually too bad, like that's harsh because the light's trying to pull it out on the automatic on the camera but it looks pretty good not gonna lie i'm gonna end today's vlog on a healthy ending like that i'm pretty hyped on that all done and dusted my carpet i've got a lot spare was 40 pound but i've got like quite a lot left so i probably only used 15 to 20 pounds of carpet and a five pounds adhesive can so i probably only spent like 20 pounds 25 pounds and my boot looks brand new and I would personally love to put my clothes in the back of that boot now on a long drive or my coat or my laptop so I'm hyped I'm happy I hope you're excited and I hope you enjoyed today's DIY episode don't forget on owner we are currently doing a free cap with every single t-shirt or hoodie that you order I'm just in a plain stamp white oversized gangster t-shirt go and get involved on the website you'll see all our new tees new hoodies new caps add them together embrace the deal 
and I'll see you in the next episode. Make sure you smash the thumbs up button. It helps my content grow and get out there. And until next time, get involved in the comments below with any car mod video ideas. I'm going to smash the car content again. Make sure you check back in in a couple of days. There'll probably be another video. Thanks for watching. See you in the future.